Okay, are you guys ready for this? I haven't looked at these diapers in several months and taking a look at them first thing right off the bat, I think, holy crap lady, you have way too many freaking diapers. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to another Vlogmas video. <laughs> Today we are going through my one size cloth diaper stash and there's a lot of stuff here. I have it all laid out on the uh, changing table area even though we're gonna be using newborn stuff before we use one size stuff all of my newborn stash is with my sister right now she is due in January with her first and so I don't really have any newborn stuff here at my house I have my one size stuff so I'm gonna show you my one size stuff here today it's all ready to go I love me some flats and covers you're going to see that but I do have other things as well so I guess let's hop in. <laughs> We're gonna talk about diapers today, which is exciting. I feel like I haven't really talked about diapers in forever, so I'm excited to be filming this video. But once again, like I always feel when I do a stash video, there's, there's too many here. I have gotten rid of a bunch of stuff. I gave my sister a ton of stuff. I love flats and covers. And I mean, I do like, like I have some fitteds, I have some all-in-ones and pockets and stuff like that, but I gave a bunch of stuff to my sister that I just really didn't, like having around I didn't like things I wasn't really using things that I knew would get better use from her because I know she wants to go the more all-in-one route you know which makes sense for a first-time mom you know something that's most similar to a traditional or well traditional it's not traditional a <laughs> disposable diaper stuff that's more similar to the you know one action of a disposable diaper makes more sense for somebody who's a new parent sometimes so my sister is going to get more use out of those kind of diapers so I gave her a bunch of them and I have kept the stuff that I really love so you will see things that I actually am in love with and if I go through this video and I see an item where I'm like hmm I don't really think I want that I'm going to put it in a pile to give to my sister so okay that's enough rambling for now let's hop in and actually talk about the diapers so I guess we could start off with some fun stuff this is the pockets and covers bin this thing is full two layers of covers and pockets if you can believe it oh my gosh so I do own a lot of buttons covers. I used to be obsessed with buttons. These are their one size covers. I don't think I kept my, um, the one large that I had from them, but it might be in here somewhere. Anyway, um, I, these are all my buttons, one size covers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of those. This and one box of flats you could totally get by with and just live on. You know, this is plenty of covers for any one person. I don't dig buttons so much. Um, I find them they'd run a little bit small and I've just had some issues with the company that I'm not, not totally a huge fan of buttons anymore, but I do have those. I have some uh, pockets here. Just a handful of pockets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it looks like. I have some Elemental Joy pockets. I have, this is a maybe a Bum Genius or something like that. Bum Genius. And then I have like a Mama Koala and an Alva Baby. I just have one of each of those. And those are actually pretty decent. If you're looking for like super cheap pockets, Alva's and um, the Mama Koalas are totally fine. I haven't had any issues with those. Now down in the bottom here are more covers that I find to be roomier that I actually tend to like a little bit more. So there's a big, big variety of stuff in here. So let's break it in two and talk about it from there. So I do have a Blueberry Capri, a Nikki's, a Diaper Right. This is a Lulu Do, which was part of an all-in-one or an all-in-two, but I just use it as like a cover. I have one of the Green Mountain Diapers um, sized uh, covers. They only come in white at this point. The day the Green Mountain Diapers comes out with lots of colors, I will buy them all up, like seriously. I have a size three. These are really, really nice. Imagine Flip. Petite Crown, that's another one that I super love. I really like my Petite Crown. I did pick up a newborn size Petite Crown cover to try out for new baby coming. So whenever I get around to filming the newborn stash video, you'll see that there. And I will be talking about that more when baby comes in April or May. And then another Nikki's down here. I do really like the Nikki's as well. All the covers that are left are all thirsty stuff. I do have three of the size three 
I believe, the size three covers, which are really big and really roomy. My first son, Calvin, wore these for his overnight diapers, but my second son, Aaron, never got big enough to need such a big cover. So these are definitely big covers. I only have three of those. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of the Thirsties size two covers. And these I really like for nighttime because they are so roomy, but I do have other issues with them where they're not like my favorite ever. They're kind of thin-ish. The elastic seems to kind of not like die or give out, but just it shows wear very easily. It doesn't have a crossover snap. Like it definitely, these don't have like all the things that I love about, you know, like my favorite things about a cover. These Thirsties do not have all of those things for sure but I do really like them for over my um, nighttime diapers because they get pretty bulky. We'll, we'll talk about those as we go along. Okay, my goodness, so many diapers. So those are all of the waterproof components of regular diapers. Those are the, you know, the pocket or the cover that goes on the outside to keep, to keep baby's pants from being soaked, right? Next is a basket full of, looks like receiving blankets here on top. So I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight receiving blankets. These are just, you know, hospital, you know, the swaddle blanket you get at the hospital, other flannel, cotton flannel, just receiving blankets. They're all, all of them I believe are rectangular in shape. I just have them pad folded in here. These are going to be way too big for the newborn days. Then at the bottom of this box, I also have just some inserts. So I do have two of these um, Green Mountain Diapers large inserts. I have two of their large hemp ones as well. One, two, three, four of the Thirsties hemp inserts as well. I like those for nighttime diapers. And then I have one, two, three. I only have three of these. I feel like I owned four at one time. I don't know. These are the Thirsties Hemp Prefolds, which I also would use in a much bigger kid, like age two plus overnight diaper. And I just have an empty little uh, wipes container, which I will fill up with wipes once baby comes. And I have actually gotten questions about like wipes solution that I use. I do not really use wipe solution. Sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I will put a little bit of like lavender essential oil and tea tree oil in with a like a drop of baby wash and water and mix it all together and then throw the wipes in there. But most of the time I just throw the wipes in there and put water on it and it's good to go. I've never had issues with mold growing on my wipes. We always use them fast enough to avoid that problem until my youngest potty trained and we were only using wipes like on the toilet. So uh, then when I wasn't using them very often for like diaper changes and stuff, I was only using like maybe one wipe a day for uh, actually going on the potty. Then that's when I noticed that there was a teensy, teensy, tiny little bit of mold growing on the lid of the, um, wipes container inside of the wipes container. So that's the only time I've ever had problems with that. When I'm using them, you know, several every single day and always going through wipes all the time, I've never had issues like that with using just water instead of some kind of special solution. All right, here is a basket full of like other flats. I love me some Green Mountain Diapers muslin flats. That's what this basket is full of. These right here are just other kinds of flats that I have. So I have three of the Imagine Stretchy Bamboos. This next one, I honestly cannot remember what the brand was, but I think it was sent to me by GreenMaternity.com. So thank you for sending this. I can't remember what brand it is. If I remember, I will put it on the screen or in the description or something. I also have one of the Geffen Baby Hemp Flats. This is just the regular flat size. And then I also have the Floddle, which is the bigger size of the Geffen Baby Hemp Flat. I have one random little Best Bottoms mini medium size snap-in insert. I do like these for not like the new newborn days, but just a couple weeks old. My sister has the rest of these. 
I need to put this in the pile to give to my sister. And then these guys are the, I think they're bamboo. It feels like a bamboo terry that go inside of the Nikki's maybe overnight potty training pants. These are the little flats that come inside of those. I never felt like I needed that much absorbency in those training pants because I wasn't using them for nighttime. But uh, yeah, these I think will be really nice. Maybe even in the newborn days because they're like, they're not very big. They're kind of like a thick-ish uh, material. And yeah, I just, I don't know. These might be cool for newborn days or just a few weeks old or whatever, but I have those in the flats pile. It's really hard to remember what brand things are when they don't have labels on them. <laughs> And lastly, for this basket, I have a bunch of flats that are mostly the Green Mountain diapers. So let me count them. So I have 12 regular one size bird's eye Green Mountain diapers flats. And then I have six of the Nikki's brand, Nikki's brand of their flats cotton flats. I believe they are cotton flats. If you've watched any of my videos about these before, I have some flats from Nikki's that are labeled bamboo cotton, but I seriously think they're just cotton because they do not resemble the old bamboo ones that I used to own. So I have, let's say we have six of the Nikki's just regular old cotton flats. And these are all going to be not like new newborn days, but just a couple weeks old when I start wanting to actually fold a flat around the baby. These are the flats that I will use. I don't find them to be absorbent enough for the toddler days, at least not for my first two sons. So uh, these are kind of like the in-between-ish days, you know, like from a couple weeks old up until like oh, I don't know, three, four, five months or something like that. So those, that's, that's that. I also have one other big flat here, which also may have been a gift from Green Maternity. This is an oh so cozy flat. So it feels very, very nice. Is this? It's bamboo and cotton. So yeah, it feels super duper soft. And I actually think that she gave this to me right when I was potty training Aaron, so I don't think this one's actually been like really used. Okay, here we have prefolds. Are these really all the prefolds that I have? I do have some buttons prefolds that are maybe size medium, but they're more like tiny, so they're not here with me. They're with my newborn stash down at my sister's, but here are some prefolds that I still have. I do have two of these large Sherpa Green Mountain diapers prefolds. I'm probably just going to end up using these as like a changing pad cover, extra cover, you know, just put that on top of the changing pad so that if there's a situation I can just throw that instead of taking the whole cover off of the changing pad. That's probably what I'm going to end up using all of these other large ones too. I have one, two, well I only kept two of these. So these are the large uh, prefolds from Green Mountain diapers, just the regular cotton ones which I will also be using just as a changing pad cover. I might throw one in the diaper bag as like a makeshift changing pad or something like that. That's what I find these really large sizes good for is to use as like an extra pad underneath changing the baby. Um, I always found that they were just a bit too bulky even on my Calvin who was probably like two and a half or something when he finally potty trained overnight. I still found these were kind of bulky on him and he was the one who wore the size three thirsties. He's always been a big kid and I, I still felt like these were kind of big on him. So uh, they're just gonna be pads for changing baby on. Now I do also have some of the blue edge and red edge regular cotton prefolds from Green Mountain Diapers. I was sent these by Karen. Thank you to Karen for letting me pick out a whole bunch of Green Mountain Diapers stuff actually. Um, that was a lot of fun doing that haul. If you guys want to see that video, I'll leave a link down below. It was probably almost this time last year or something that, uh, that I was doing, that I was doing that haul. So I have, I think these ones are called the intermediate. They're like a couple layers thinner than the mediums, which are these red edge. But yeah, I really like the medium size. I know everybody loves the medium size from uh, Green Mountain Diapers, and I love them too. I started out with these giant large ones with my son Calvin, and I really wasn't a big fan of their prefolds. I didn't understand why everybody loved Green Mountain Diaper prefolds so much until I got these mediums. They're awesome. All right, here's my favorite basket. <laughs> these are all of my Green Mountain Diapers 
muslin flats, which are the best flats in the whole wide world. Let me tell you, I love these guys so much. I have one sizes. I have size larges. I will count them and give you guys some totals here. But yeah, like Green Mountain diapers, muslin flats are the best thing in the whole entire world. I love them with all of my heart. <laughs> I have a crazy love for these diapers. I mean, I know I sound like a crazy person, but it's okay, guys. It's okay. Okay, I have 12 of the one size muslin flats and six of the size larges. And in the bottom of that basket, I also had six of these Nikki's muslin. And I do have a review comparing the two. If you're interested in that, I'll try to remember to leave it down below. But um, the Nikki's are nice, but Green Mountain Diapers wins. <laughs> And if you are wondering, like, why would you want large over one size on the Green Mountain Diapers muslin flats, I love them both equally, honestly. I feel like the one size you can probably start using earlier when baby's not too big. The larges are just a little bit larger, and it makes it a little bit easier for folding around a big kiddo. Like I said, my oldest son, Calvin, was kind of big. Um, Aaron's kind of always been, like... A little bit bigger than average but not like super big so it's just nicer to if you're actually gonna like fold it around baby the larges get nicer as kiddo gets older like maybe closer to the you know year and a half two year mark or whatever I don't know I'm just making up ages <laughs> it's really hard to remember it really is and our last little basket here are some nighttime things as well as um, just other uh, mostly all-in-one type diapers so let's go through those as you can see that's like the extent of my all-in-ones. <laughs> That's not a lot. I love flats and covers. Okay, so over on this side of the basket, I do have a bunch of fitteds. So I'll just tell you what they are. This is a homemade fitted made out of a size large Green Mountain Diapers pre-fold. I do have a video on that if you care to see. I am not a seamstress. I'm not very good at sewing things. It's kind of messy, but if you wanna see how to make a pre-fold into a fitted diaper, you can watch that video if you like. You might, you probably do a better job than me. <laughs> Next, this is an oh so cozy toddler size, 25 to 35 pound fitted diaper. Not a huge fan of that one, but I do use it in my nighttime components as baby gets bigger. This is a Nikki's um, bamboo and cotton fitted that I added snaps to. Also not like a super huge fan of this, but I have it and I'm gonna use it in nighttime diapers. Now for things that I really do love. I really feel like I had more than two of these, but I don't know where they would be. Anyway, these are the Green Mountain Diapers Workhorse Fitted Diapers with Snaps in the size large. These are great. I love these for nighttime diapers. If your options are, you know, this Oso oh Cozy Fitted, this Nikki's Fitted, or Green Mountain Diapers Workhorse Fitted, choose the Green Mountain Diapers Workhorse. I love these guys, they're awesome. They have a little flap inside. It's not all totally sewn together. I mean, it is sewn in so it doesn't like come out, but this little flap here makes it so that it's not super duper thick where it takes a million years to dry. They wash better because they have this little flappy thing and they take less time to dry compared to these guys over here. Anyway, I also have two size mediums of the workhorses and I have three size extra large of the workhorses. This is another item my oldest son Calvin totally wore these for several months when he got bigger and was wearing overnight diapers still, um, but Aaron never got big enough to fit into these. So Calvin did take a little bit longer to potty train overnight than Aaron, but Calvin was also just a bigger kid than Aaron, so he fit into the bigger sizes like the size three thirsties, whereas Aaron never got to that point. So if you want to know like age wise, these mediums, I don't remember when they start fitting, maybe like, okay, I'm gonna make this up three ish months, four ish months, you might be able to start putting baby in these. I don't know. Is that, I don't know. Is that accurate? <laughs> but I know that both of my kiddos outgrew this size around 11, 12 months and they started using the larges. And then, like I said, Aaron stayed until the larges until he was potty trained, like just a few months over two years old. And then Calvin did end up getting into the extra larges. So if you think, because I know some people have asked, like, can I just buy the mediums and then the extra larges? Do not do that. I would definitely not recommend that. The larges are what my kids wore the longest. 
I know, I mean, I understand the temptation to want to try to skip sizes, but in the fitteds, I would say get some mediums and get some larges. And we're actually trying to do, um, we're trying to skip from the newborns to the mediums. So we'll see how that goes. You will be updated in the future on that one. I think I only own like one or two of the smalls, which is the size in between. And I don't know um, how that's gonna work out. So we'll see. Okay, so uh, we're almost done. Okay, I have two of these Diaper Right all-in-ones. I love these for nighttime with my second son, Aaron. I don't think I owned them with my first son, Calvin. They have two snap-in inserts in here and they have a little bit of absorbency built into the cover itself. So they have quite a bit of absorbency. I do feel like my oldest son, Calvin, was a heavier wetter than Aaron was, but these worked overnight for Aaron perfectly fine. I feel like Aaron was kind of like averagey for overnight wetting. I don't feel like he was anything crazy. Calvin was definitely more crazy. I did keep this um, Grovia Butta all-in-one because it's a beautiful color and it feels so velvety and nice. I don't know if I really like think the absorbency is like super impressive or anything, but I just like the diaper. So I did end up keeping that one. This one is a an Imagine all-in-one and I do like it. I found that it was quite a bit absorbent. It's like this insert is like pretty thick, man. And then you also have added absorbency in the cover itself. So another all-in-one that I actually did enjoy. Another all-in-one that I did like that's so expensive that I don't know if I would really recommend because it's so pricey. I think it's like 35 bucks or something, which is just stupid. But I really do like this diaper. So this is, what is this called? The Simplex Organic Blueberry Simplex. And I love it. I really do. <laughs> if you can find them secondhand, maybe buy them secondhand. But it comes with um, an insert here that you can just like lay on top and it has a fleecy top. So if baby is sensitive to wetness, this is right here to protect baby from the soaking wet cotton. Or you can flip it inside of the diaper, like a pocket style diaper, and baby will just be up against the cotton. I just, I don't know how it has as much absorbency as it has, but I always really liked this. I was actually contemplating buying the newborn version for a new baby, but the newborn version is as expensive as any other like one size regular all-in-one so I don't know man I don't know uh, the last all-in-one is the Grovia one which does have microfiber in there I feel like other ones of these might have a tiny bit of microfiber in there but I know for sure that this one does I try to avoid microfiber I would much rather have cotton other kinds of natural fibers but this one does have microfiber in there I've never had issues with stink or wash issues or anything with it but I did just want to mention that to you guys I liked using this for overnight for Aaron as well and he was never you know super soaked or anything it worked fine for him but like I said Aaron is probably more of like an average-ish overnight wetter was more of an overnight an average overnight wetter as opposed to my first son Calvin so Aaron could get away with some of these all-in-ones for Calvin he would have to use something like a fitted with one of these um, hemp inserts in here so I would take something like this big hemp flat flottle from Geffen Baby and take a fitted diaper like the Green Mountain Diapers um, size large workhorse and just kind of fold it up like that and then put one of the uh, Thirsties size 2 um, duo wraps on top and that would be an overnight diaper for my boys so if you're interested in more overnight diaper stuff i do have a whole video about like all the different overnight diapers we used at the time so i will leave that down below as well i really hope i can remember to leave all of these different videos for you guys down below because i know there's a lot of stuff that i've mentioned so far and this is a big video so i'm gonna have to really pay attention when i'm editing <laughs> okay last diaper is the kawaii baby um this is a pocket diaper it has bamboo inserts and the kawaii baby come differently you have to read the description if you're gonna buy these some of them only come with one insert some of them come with two like this guy that did uh for me this was also gifted to me by green maternity i'll leave a link down below to her website and everything uh she has given me a few things over the years and this is something that i really really enjoyed and it's super duper affordable like these are really affordable so 
It has two of the inserts there and you can throw them straight into this pocket. You could leave them on top as well. If you like don't feel like stuffing, you could just put them on top there because they're not microfiber. It doesn't hurt for this to be up against baby skin. It's totally fine. It's just bamboo and cotton, I believe. So anyway, this diaper um, was really nice for overnight for Aaron as well. Like I said, Aaron was kind of an average overnight wetter. I know I've said that like 10 times now and you probably get the point, but this worked overnight for Aaron as well. So these are a really nice option if you're looking for something super affordable, plus it can do daytime or overnight for you. You don't have to two, have like two separate stashes for daytime and nighttime. That would be really nice. So I did really enjoy these if you're into pockets, if you like pocket diapers. Man, I love talking about diapers, but this is a big video, man. Like I just have like a lot of stuff I needed to cover. There are still other things that I have like wet bags and wipes and stuff. I don't find that to be like super duper important stuff. Um, if you want like maybe if you're looking to buy wipes you might get something like two dozen to start out and that's probably fine um unless you live in a two-story like me where i have a changing station both in the living room downstairs or i will in the future i did in the past i don't have anybody in diapers right now but um i i would have more wipes if you have two changing stations like one in baby's room and one downstairs or something um i would definitely recommend having more than two dozen wipes if that's your situation my goodness, how did I even get all these in here? I can't even fit them in here anymore. And I did have somebody ask about what are my favorite wipes the other day. Grovia wipes are my favorite. I only have a handful of them that I got as a hand-me-down actually. If I would start all over, I would buy all Grovia wipes. I love those things. They are amazing. They, I feel like they're maybe a little bit pricey, but they're super, super nice. I do like flannel for the newborn days because they're thin and you can just like get in all of baby's little tiny crevices a little bit better with the thin wipes. The Grovia are a little bit more plush and fluffy. So um, I don't remember if Grovia were a pain in the newborn days, but I love them for every time after the newborn days. So I even use them now still like, uh, for the boys on the potty if there's like a super messy situation we use wipes uh, the reusable wipes just still Okay, I feel like I've been talking forever. I feel like this is gonna be a really big video This is a little bit different style than I usually film my stashes So like I don't have everything like all laid out at once So I don't have like a big like stash shot for you guys to see or anything eat. You want something to eat? Yeah, your face is so messy like you've already been eating. Have you been eating? Yeah. What have you been eating? You wanna sit with me? Yeah. Okay, so Aaron is here. He says he's hungry, so he's telling me that it's time to end the video, I guess. <laughs> so, do you wanna say bye bye? Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. If I forgot to leave a link, let me know in the comments and hopefully it'll remind me to leave some of the links down there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're looking forward to the rest of Vlogmas with videos every day through Christmas this month. Lots and lots of videos. I hope you're looking forward to new cloth diaper stuff in the new year. Well, after baby comes. Baby number three is due uh, May 4th, so hopefully we have some cloth diapery stuff as we get closer and once baby's here. And then also, I know it's like six months away, but baby will be here just in time for the flats and hand washing challenge. So that'll be fun next year. I hope you're looking forward to it. Mom. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, like the video if you liked it, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. 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 B